So it's all been very serious recently, what with Hunter Biden's addiction to recording every time he does something illegal. And I just want to make a video about something else other than the Biden family and their shenanigans. But as you can see from the video, Joe was at his old sniffing kids ways again. So it is hard to not talk about a set of people whose every action is hilarious. But let's give it a try. So it's been a bit of a rough time for Elon Musk. His bid to buy Twitter has gone wrong and he pulled out the deal, which led to the biggest about 10 from the NPCs on the left imaginable. In April, they were screeching as loud as possible that a white supremacy racism like Elon Musk shouldn't be allowed to buy Twitter. Now, in July, they're all losing their minds that Elon Musk shouldn't be allowed to not buy Twitter. But these are totally individuals with their own thought processes and not mindless drones shrieking on command when the mainstream media tells them to, of course. Perish the thought. But now Twitter, having realised that without Elon Musk buying them, they're totally screwed, what with their complete inability to make any money because despite what they say, they know most of their users are bots and they don't click on ads, so they sued Elon Musk to force him to buy them, which I think could well be part of Musk's plan to lower the price. In court, they have to disclose a real amount of fake users, which everyone who has used Twitter for longer than a couple of minutes knows it's way higher than the 5% they publicly claim. But we shall see what happens with that in the future. That's for another video. So that is either good or bad for Elon, but he seems to be taking it in his stride judging by his Twitter, but he has recently made a powerful enemy. Someone who is even better at using Twitter than he is. In fact, this guy was so funny, he had to be banned from the platform. And he is Donald Trump. Elon Musk made a good point about maybe Trump being too old to run for president again, saying he will be 82 at the end of his term if he won in 2024. Perhaps DeSantis would be a better choice for president instead of Trump. I mean, look at Joe Biden. I know Trump is a sprightly old dude, but do you really want people this old running everything forever? I see his point. I mean, Trump will be better from my point of view because of the seething and dilation Trump being president would cause, but it's a valid cause for concern, I have to say. Now, one of the reasons Trump Trump is so funny is that he cannot let any perceived slight go and must go all out attack no matter who the person is. I mean I would have thought Elon Musk would be a useful ally but Trump just went scorched to earth as he is wont to do on his own social media platform Truth Social saying when Elon Musk came to the White House asking me for help on all of his many subsidized projects whether it's electric cars that don't drive long enough driverless cars that crash or rocket ships to nowhere without which subsidies he'd be worthless and telling me how he was a big Trump fan of Republican, I could have said, drop to your knees and beg, and he would have done it. Well, that is a total evisceration. That's why he's the king of the trolls. There wasn't much to say back to that, as everything is true. So Elon saved face with an old man shouts at clouds gif, but that was a dressing down of epic proportions. But it's a good job someone else is humiliating themselves on a constant basis to take the heat off. And that, of course, is Hunter Biden. God damn it. I said I didn't want to talk about him in a video at the start, didn't I? But Elon posted me about old Hunter and his penchant for recording every second of his crack and hooker usage, which is pretty funny, but of course, where people are just having fun, a woke white woman is waiting around the corner, hoping to ruin it. And MSNBC pretend journalist Stephanie Rule chimed in with, Imagine the positive impact you could have on the world if you used the extraordinarily amount of influence and power you have to spread decency, kindness, and positivity. Well, personally, I think laughing at crack addicts and hookers is spreading decency. Something should be stigmatized. But Elon fired back with five words. Imagine if MSNBC did that. Okay, that is officially a sick burn for the same reason he got destroyed by Trump. The sweetest burns are always true. Imagine if MSNBC used their huge reach to not try and start race wars, to not terrify people into not changing the channel for the sake of advertising money, and not being Joe Biden's personal mouthpiece. And instead, just told the truth. Imagine how much better the world would be. That's it for today's video. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe to more content like this. Thanks, boy.